Insane America's Mega Elite District, Hudson Yards. Have you ever listened to the Chainsmokers song, Takeaway? If so, you may have watched the clip as well. The location used in the music video is not a studio, but an actual place. The surreal place is called the Hudson Yards. It is known for many never-before-seen retail concepts and a first-of-its-kind dining venue at the largest and most expensive private real estate project in U.S. history. It's promoted as the pinnacle of luxury, a sophisticated hangout for city elites where you can drop a cool grand on a wristwatch and $800 on a new do. Do you want a tour of this fantasy city? If so, well, you're in the right spot here at Build Zone. So let's get on a virtual tour of this place of luxury. Hudson Yards appears to be more unreal than real. The five new skyscrapers are sharp and reflecting, giving them a level of high definition that the real world rarely achieves. The tallest one resembles, from afar, a robotic duck with a large erect brow and a beak that could almost support a chopper. The outdoor observation deck extends out 65 feet and rises to an elevation of 1,100 feet above ground level. The related companies will open the gates to its new $25 billion enclave on March 15th after 12 years of planning and six years of construction. The complex will feature super tall office towers occupied by lawyers and hedge funders, airborne eight-figure apartments, a 720,000 square foot shopping zone, and a slew of star chef restaurants. When the remaining 28 acres are developed, including the deck and additional residential towers planned for the exposed rail yards between 11th and 12th avenues, the complex will be larger than the United Nations Building, the World Trade Center, or Rockefeller Center, as well as more populous, more expensive, and more physically expansive than any private development in the country. Hudson Yards is more than just a massive development. It also signals a significant departure from New York's past. A one-of-a-kind, supersized virtual city-state linked to a global metropolis but built to the requirements of related chairman Stephen Ross. Affordable housing, yoga pants, art exhibits, tapas, and work opportunities are all on the horizon. New York isn't done erecting skyscrapers and new office buildings, unlike the tiny Pluto Crantvilles rising on 57th Street are in need, a place where tens of thousands of New Yorkers will spend their days. A group of talented architects toiled away at the problem of how to make a neighborhood out of the city's massive structures and glass cliffs, creating an area where people could feel at home. The faceted, shingle-glass buildings at 10 and 30 Hudson Yards were designed by Cohn Peterson Fox, while Elkis Manfred was responsible for the interiors. The residential structure with cylindrical towers at 15 Hudson Yards and the adjacent performance space known as The Shed were designed by Diller, Scofidio, and Renfro, and the Rockwell Group, respectively. Overlooking the plaza by Nelson Bird Woltz and Thomas Heatherwick's bucket-shaped, lattice-like object, currently dubbed The Vessel, are two more buildings, 55 by KPF with Kevin Roche, John Dinkelu and Associates, and 35, an office hotel residential combo by David Childs and Skidmore, Owings and Merrill. The majority of these architects came up with thoughtful and elaborate plans alone. Their combined efforts produced the exact reverse of what they had hoped for. They constructed a corporate city-state, branded from sidewalk to spire instead of an organic extension of the midtown fabric. The technology underneath the glitz, roots chilled. The trains that travel beneath the platform generate heat and temperatures can reach 150 degrees below. As a result, the deck is lined with pipes that pump cool water beneath the trees to keep them from becoming overheated. It has its own communications network. Here, a private fiber loop placed in the platform beneath the buildings and connecting them all speeds up internal communication significantly. It has its power supply. The co-generation facilities, there are two, generate energy with a generator that runs on natural gas and captures waste heat to use in the climate control system. Future proofing. A tech stack, a software framework that lives in the cloud and supports various devices such as elevators and cameras, keeps all of Hudson Yards data in one location. Of course, there's an app for that. Residents can reserve a party room, purchase observation deck tickets, or make restaurant reservations. Perfectionism is the trademark of this company. The most mundane parts of city life, such as riding the subway or avoiding trash bags on the sidewalk, may be like ticking time bombs of frustration, but related claims to be a place free of such annoyances. Nobody will be allowed to hibernate indoors or let the snow pile up on the walkways, and all doorknobs and levers must be kept in pristine condition. Hey, that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like it, and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more like it. And thanks for watching.